But as an entrepreneur, we know this thing is that road is always windy. It's never just a straight, straight narrow road. So, what's one thing that you wish you knew before um, you kind of jumped into that entrepreneur game? Uh, good question. Uh, I I don't know. I just feel like I didn't know how much time I think that it would take. You know, and time <laughs> it takes yeah. a lot of time and consistency for sure. So it's like, I, you know, you think that one thing is gonna be a hit when it's just not. You know, you think that. You know, that having that one artist in your in your stuff is gonna be okay. I'm I'm on top now. I got I got younger name myself. Okay, <laughs> you know, ooh, you know, like it's not like that. Like you got to keep going and you got to trust your past because you know if if that that artist is not rooting for sneakerhead like you rooting, it's just another day. You know, so it's like if they're not putting in that same love and it like you got, it's gonna go as far as you if you put it out there. So yeah, I just yeah. felt like I didn't know how much time it was going to take and how long of a process it was going to be. You know, I was like, okay, you know, yeah. I thought it would be a little simpler, but it's not. And, it's not you know, at all. Just and I hear that. Staying I hear, dedicated. I hear that a lot from uh, entrepreneurs who are kind of out there on the grind doing their thing. You know, they make it look glamorous online. You know, you're going through your feed and everybody's an entrepreneur. They making this money. They doing all this, but they're not showing you the 10 years that would have took them to get there. And when you get there, all of a sudden you go from your nine to five to working, you know, 13, 18 hours a day. You know what I mean? You, when you were working your nine to five, you can kind of turn it off and you can be done with it. But then you jump into the entrepreneurial game and you're working twice as hard as double a day. You're just working like a dog trying to get it up off the ground because nobody knows right. you when you get started. And so you have to start from, from the ground zero and kind of have to right. build it up so it takes time. So like you said, you spend a lot of time and consistency. And that's the thing a lot of, I think a lot of us have a hard time with, with consistency, just kind of keeping yeah. the keeping the grind going. And once you get the momentum, you kind of want to relax a little bit. And then yeah. you kind of sit back a little bit. And it's like, no, this is when you need to be going even harder because once you get the ball rolling, you got to keep it going. So I, yeah. I totally get it. So would you, and, would you and change I mean, it? Money would you too. change it? Would you change it? Would you oh, change no, it? I wouldn't change it. I mean, I wouldn't change it, but I definitely would go in being more educated. Like, you know, if I need to take a business class, marketing class, that's something that's really big, especially being an entrepreneur, especially into fashion. You got to really know how to market yourself, especially um, financially. Like, my nine to five helps me build my brand, you know, it helps me financially. So, Saying, you know, fucking nine to five uh, is all about you. It's kind of like, no, your nine to five supports your dream. You it's know, your first it, it, it's, it's your first investor, you know. So it's kind of like you have to, you have to have a nine to five. I feel like to have a business and starting from the ground up, if you're not wealthy and not in a wealthy family, you got to work <laughs> to get your stuff. You got you to bootstrap you gotta, it. You got to take a couple of dollars, right. pay, pay your bills, take a couple of dollars, put it to the side and stack it up and then go buy some materials right. and then try to flip it mm-hmm. and keep it going. It just, it, right. it takes a little bit of capital to kind of like get it off the ground. It's going to take a little bit of capital just to get it going. And then once you kind of right. get the ball going, then you can kind of start like marketing. And that's, I think, 